rise. Judge Von Lee Court is now in session. Judge, this is the case of the Griffin. Thank you. Yes. You all may be seated. Mr. Griffith, you brought this case before the court. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, what's going on? Well, I have a, I'm raising two grandkids. I'm the legal guardian of those two grandkids. Uh, they were sired by my work, I mean, my son here. Oh, this is your son? Good, man. That's my son. Okay. Uh, sometimes embarrassed to admit it, but uh, anyway. Uh, and so I have, I'm here today to try to get him to start contributing to the raising of these children. Now, I'm a personal banker. I've made decent money over the years. Okay. I'm uh, hitting retirement age, uh, and I, I just think it's time for him to start paying. I agree. I agree with that. Um, are these children involved in any type of extracurricular activities or anything? Oh, yeah. They're getting up to the age where sports are there. I'm having to run across town to soccer. and, and then, I'm there, uh, too, man. Obviously well, not, and I'm not talking to you, so I need you to wait your turn. Yes, Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I hate to admit it, but I've told him since he's a kid he's worthless, and uh, I, I think it's bearing out. But, well, uh, sir, that's not very nice, and we're not here to uh, talk about your I, son in that way. We're here I, to get some support, financial support for your grandkids, okay? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, kids involved in extracurricular activity, your son, their dad is not helping. Has he, he given you any money at all for the kids? He has given me no money at all, and uh, he's not taking responsibility. He comes by and sees the kids occasionally, but he, he has not been much of a father to them at all. Okay, where is the mother? Well, she couldn't take much, I guess, uh, of him anymore, so she left. Uh, we, I, don't think I kicked her out. Her. You what? Excuse I kicked me? her out. Excuse me. Uh, I bet. Yes, ma'am. In, in just a moment, you can have your time. Yes, just a moment. So she's not in the picture. Uh, not anymore. We haven't heard from her in quite some time. Uh, okay. I think the kids still remember her and they miss her, but, uh, you know. How old are the kids? Huh? How old are the kids? Uh, 13 and 15. 13 and 15. Okay. Now, is there anything else you would like for me to know before I move to him? Well, he goes a long time without working and now he finally has a part-time job, I think, now. And uh, uh, probably couldn't afford much, but more than the money, I think it's time that he starts showing some manly responsibility. He's okay, never and, done I, it before. and I definitely agree. I definitely agree. <laughs> Sir, now it's your turn. Yes, ma'am. What do you have to say about what your father said in terms of not giving any financial support for the support of your children? It's hard. I, th I, have, I just got a job. I, okay, I how much are you working? Part time, like part -time. 20, 30 hours a week at the shoe place. Still a loser. Okay, sir, that's not very uh, nice. We're not going to do any type of name calling in this courtroom, okay? Yes, you guys are not going to do that to each other. You can save that at home when you all are, you know, just between the two of you, but not here, okay? Yes, so you say you work about 20, 30 hours a week. Yes, ma'am. How much money do you make? 15 bucks an hour, so I, I don't know, a couple of thousand a month, I think. Okay. I think there's something, if I may, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I think there's something oh, that, in case he doesn't volunteer it, he has just recently got a settlement oh. to a lawsuit. Oh. And that's the main reason at $15 an hour I wouldn't have brought him to court. Oh. Because it wouldn't have been worth the. Now it makes part. sense. Now it makes sense. I could definitely see why he did not want to bring you to court for $15 an hour. So let's, he's not very truthful, obviously, because he's looking at me with his mouth open like he is so he's confused. He's just mad because of my car. Well, you just know what, sir, sir, I'm upset at the fact that when I ask you why you were not providing any financial support, you try to give me this side story about $15 an hour, and you yes. have a settlement. Let me ask your dad, because I don't think I'm going to get too much honesty out of you. How much is this settlement? Well, my understanding is that he uh, his part portion of it, I guess after legal fees and all, was about a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars? Come on. You think it's funny? You think this is funny? You think yeah, it's a game? Yeah, I think it's funny. You think it's funny? Yes. Why? Because you you got more because than that. You want to tell me you got more than that? No. So why is that funny? You're because not. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars. 
So you didn't. So your father's not being honest about the settlement. Well, I may have gotten it, but I don't have it anymore. Okay, so I got braces, man. You it didn't does get not cost. Me. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. <laughs> what Sorry. type of crazy do you think I am? It does not cost one hundred thousand well, dollars for braces. I've got a couple other things too. I mean, there might be some left. Okay, and you didn't bring that to court with you, did you? To show the proof of that. that yes or no? In my name. Did you bring? any documents to court to show that you are not in possession of this money. You didn't, did no. you? No, you didn't. Actually, you did, your dad turned in your settlement judgment. You actually got a settlement for $102,000. It was a while back. A while back, so you don't remember. I well, guess I, mean, then, I, do, I guess blowing. I, I guess blowing that money off made you lose your memory, huh? So what we're getting ready to do is make you pay child That's support fun. to your dad. I'm glad that you think it's a joke because we're not about to joke and I want to see that same smile on your face when I read these numbers out to you on how much you're gonna pay on child support. Okay, so at $102,000, I have your gross at $8,500, which brings your net to a total of $6,525.63, okay? Um, health insurance, who pays health insurance? I do, Your Honor. I don't How much is health insurance? $250 a month. $250. So, we're going to make you reimburse that to your dad for health insurance, okay? So, as I was saying, net $6,525.63. That would bring your child support before the reimbursement to $1,631.41. Did you need to write it down? $1,000. $631.41 plus $250 would be $1,881.41, your monthly obligation. And I gave you credit for both kids. I make $2,000 a month. Okay, but you also have a settlement for $102,000. And I'm deeming that income because under Texas law, I have the right to do that. Okay. So your child support is not going to be set at fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, I'm sorry, at fifteen based on fifteen dollars an hour, because I'm sure you spent the fifteen fifteen dollars an hour getting those braces, not that one hundred and two thousand. It's not going to work. I'm afraid your honor, he's spent a lot of the rest of that too. I think that's the reason he's him hard about. Well, uh, you what know, he is. you know what, sir, and it's fine if he did, because he has to be able to give you eighteen hundred dollars a month in child support. Otherwise, you'll have far more serious issues. Okay? Right. Anything further? Well, I love my grandchildren, but I've told him along the way once he hooked up with the lady he married that he had all the fun, so it's been his, his responsibility to help take care of them. This is the first time he's ever had to pay up. Well, and I thank you for bringing him to court and making him responsible, sir. Right. Okay. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Sure. Take visa. This is great, man. Hey guys, it's Vonda Bailey, and I'm coming to you as the lawyer this time. We have arrived at the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what this segment will cover and how the different scenarios interact with child support under Texas law. I want to go over what you all just watched in the Griffith case. Dad works part-time, child is legally with his dad, the grandfather of the child, and dad got a settlement from insurance proceeds. Can he be ordered to pay child support off of that? Well, yes, that is very much so the case. Under Texas law, there are a number of different things that are not considered income producing assets that you could still be ordered to pay child support off of, such as settlement off insurance proceeds, cattle that is on land, mineral interest, several severance pay that's sitting in an account, or just money you have stashed away in a savings account. That is all calculated, that can all be calculated and deemed income for purposes of calculating your child support. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Vonda B.